Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. Now we're following that massive fire in East Rogers, which happened near Beaver Lake at Mark Industries. As of right now, crews have contained that blaze. Here's the map. They're still, though, on site this morning because it is still smoldering. There's a lot of smoke in the air. This was Beaver Lake again at Mark Industries. But you can see that plume of smoke could be seen for miles around when this happened on Wednesday. Reports say that two people have been hurt due to this fire. One of the injured was taken to a hospital. Everyone else is believed to have been evacuated from the building. Crews put out a hazardous smoke warning at the time, warning residents nearby to stay indoors with their windows and doors closed. Now, if you want to see more coverage, extended video of the fire there in Rogers, you can watch it anytime on the 5 Plus app. It's free for your Apple and Android devices. You can also watch it on the 5 News YouTube page. All right, we're going to get to more top stories for you in just a minute, but let's check in with Bella because it is certainly feeling like fall today, Bella. It absolutely is. We've got these nice cool temperatures out across the area and we're going to see our highs really topping off in the upper 60s. You're seeing that in Northwest Arkansas, about 69 in Fayetteville and Bentonville and Rogers for today. A few of us even below that. We're seeing 68 in spots like Tawny Town, Eureka Springs. We're seeing that in Huntsville as well. If we move a little bit further south, we're feeling even cooler wind slow at about 62 as our high today, 63 in St. Paul. Let's take a look at the River Valley. What are we expecting? We're usually a little bit warmer for us. So temperature wise, we are going to be a little bit above those high 60s, likely pushing into the 70s. You can see 70 in Hackett, Poto, Mansfield, uh, 72 in Fort Smith, Lavaca is about 70, 72 in Paris as well. But a few of us sitting in those 60s. We are going to have some gusty winds as we go into the late morning today of calming down over the afternoon and evening. We'll push back in over the later evening hours around 10 11 o'clock we'll get these uh, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds coming back all of those moving in from our south you're seeing that about 10 11 o'clock in the morning as well all of that because we have high pressure that's moved off to our east a little bit you can see how our jet stream is rolling over that even as we go later into the week we're going to start to pull a little bit of this further west jet stream our way that's going to bring in some temp some air from texas dry and warm for us we can see that in our seven day forecast as temperatures start climbing into the 70s high 70s for the weekend with tons of clear skies by next week we're going to be pushing back into the 80s as early as monday in the river valley all right thanks for that bella well greenwood high school is the only school from arkansas still in the running for a $2 million stadium makeover from T-Mobile. This video is used for the competition showcasing what the stadium means to the school. Now, the high school is one of just 16 left in the nation competing for T-Mobile's Friday night 5G lights competition. Greenwood staff say that some ideas for the money include improving the stadium entrance, the concession stand, and adding visitor locker rooms. And while the stadium may be most notable for what happens on Friday nights, Greenwood's dance coach says renovations will benefit the whole community. You have your graduation here. We've had Special Olympics here. We have our Little League go through here. Yes, Greenwood football is absolutely incredible, but we have a state championship uh, cheer squad. We have a state runner-up dance team. We have a ranked band. And so it is literally everyone getting showcased in such a positive light. Well, the competition ends November the 12th and details on how you can help Greenwood High School in this competition is listed at the story on our website at 5newsonline.com. Well, the landscape could be changing from one of the area's fastest growing cities. 5 News reporter Kayla Davis tells us about the big Italian inspired plans for Tawny Town. In 2023, Tawnytown was recorded as the fastest growing city per capita in the state of Arkansas. Now, leaders are working to develop the city to match the rapid growth of the Tawnytown Heritage Village. The goal is to design a downtown area that honors the town's history. I mean, it was really founded by Father Bandini, who uh, basically brought a bunch of Italian immigrants to here. So we wanted to include the Catholic Church uh, as part of the heritage area. So we were looking at the property north here of the church along Barrington. 
and it also is accessed down to um, 112. Other Italian inspiration will be pulled for the area like a piazza, an outdoor amphitheater, 12-acre lake, and multiple fountains. City planner Mark Latham says they're in communication with three different developers. The chosen developer will ultimately add any additional structure designs that will be beneficial to people living in the village. There's been some talk about a library. We do have some interest in some medical facilities in this area um, and so it's kind of encompassing to make sure that people that do live there along with the commercial development on the bottom side of this is a place that they call home. Tawny Town currently has about 7,500 residents. They expect that number to boom within the next five years or so once the village is complete. It's projected that if once this is all built out, it could be almost 5,000 people live here. In Tawny Town, covering news where you live, Kayla Davis, 5 News. Well, there is no estimated cost for the village just yet, but Latham says they will be meeting with the Tawny Town Planning Commission next to discuss rezoning, designing standards, and the city's master street plan. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news on this Thursday. Make sure to catch up with us again tomorrow right here for more. Have a great day.